What's going on YouTube? Back at you again with another video. JC Cowboys Network, you know what it is. Kelvin Joseph, hot head Kelvin Joseph. Kelvin Joseph came from LSU, okay? He was one of the top, top players coming out of the country. At the end of the year, the coaches made him sit out of the Fiesta Bowl game because I guess it was a lot of drama that was going on at LSU. So he sits out and he ended up wanting to be transferred to another school. So he goes to Kentucky. So with Kentucky, with the NCAA rules, you got to sit out that next year. So he goes to Kentucky and he balled out there. I mean, this dude was one of the top cornerbacks that was coming out. Like those two, two seasons, he was one of the top players. Like he was that type of guy that he was manning the best wide receiver on any team that was coming out in college. Teams already knew about his character concerns. So he ended up falling in the draft. And lo and behold, Dallas Cowboys, picking them up with the 44th overall pick. It's crazy because with second round pick, Dallas always take chances. I mean, you got Jalen Smith with injuries. You got Randy Gregory with off the field concerns. I mean, we take chances in the second round. That's just what we do. We get to the season, you know. He didn't really like take over the one position, the two position or the three position because Anthony Brown and Jordan Lewis was balling. So they manned the number two and the number three. So it was pretty much like a red shirt year for him, but Dallas knew the type of talent that he was. So eventually he was going to take that number two spot with Trayvon Diggs having that number, that number one spot. Not much really happened throughout the whole season last year with him, but Dallas knew going into next season, he was going to be that guy. So here we are now. Kelvin Joseph is tied to a murder investigation that happened March 18th. News came out that he was in a passenger seat, but he wasn't the shooter. Somebody that was driving was the shooter and somebody in the back was the shooter. So that's what they're saying. They brought him in for um, an interview and two arrests were made. So, <laughs> so, so pretty much like that situation is so crazy because he put himself in a situation that he ratted out his own man. But you know, you have to understand that you cannot live that life and think that you're gonna be a professional football player and think that shit is sweet because it's not. It's really not. Like this guy, his, his name is Boss Man Fat. That's his rap name. My thing is, are you gonna be Boss Man Fat or are you gonna be Kelvin Joseph? You gotta be the one to make that decision at the end of the day. He's a very talented player. I mean, this guy is truly a very talented player and he can be one of the best cornerbacks in the league. But you can't, you, you gotta leave that Pac-Man Jones lifestyle alone. And it's sad because these guys are putting themselves in position to hang with these dudes, a bunch of yes men, but you need to be hanging your, yourself around a bunch of, nah, bro, that's not gonna work out. No, that's not gonna work out. That's not the right decision. That's the problem. Dallas could be able to put themselves and have mentorship and have these guys around i mean not babysitting but being more engaged with you know the players and stuff like that and just you know kind of get them away from their troubled past like we have to do better with it. you know it's unfortunate that something like this could happen and you know it's it's really looking cloudy for him and we don't know where the situation is going to go so dallas is going to have to just keep looking forward i mean if you have to draft a cornerback in the first round go right ahead if you if the talent's there go right ahead that's why right after this situation happened i came out with my top five cornerback position video so it was perfect timing you know because at the end of the day like you never know what might happen definitely with cowboys players yeah, so the thing that i will say to him is you got to put yourself in the right situation are you going to be boss man fat or are you going to be kelvin joseph the dallas cowboys cornerback that's up to you at the end of the day you know you have the talent you have the players and the support where you can thrive and you can do the right thing you know but it's up to you it's up to you to leave that that hood lifestyle alone like I said, I, I know he's a goon. I can see it. I saw it from the beginning, you know, and he's young. He's going to make a lot of mistakes. So hopefully he can just get himself together, stay focused, and just ball out, man. That's all I have to say, y'all. So make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe so y'all can come vibe. You already know what it is. Gone.